the names. Strikar, Light Herder. Lady Celestria. Together we are Celestial, Celestial Strike. Strike. Woo. We are back at it again. We have got another Historic Brawl Arena Deck Tech video. So, hey today we'll be talking about Lagreya or Lagrella, depending on how it's actually pronounced. I don't know, but... I'm gonna go with Rick Lagrella because it's Nuka Pena, right? You would just assume, I guess. Uh, but the Magpie, it is a green, white, blue for a 2 3 human soldier. It's actually an uncommon, so you popper players could uh, could get in on this. But the, uh, the big thing with Lagrella is when it enters the battlefield, exile any number of other target creatures controlled by different players until Lagrella leaves the battlefield. Uh, when an exile card enters the battlefield under your control this way, put two 1-1 one -one counters on it. Now, it seems kind of confusing the way that they worded it. Wizards of the Coast likes to do that for some reason. But, long story short, for each player at the table, so in Historic Brawl, it's only going to be two. You exile one creature per player up to. That's the that's the whole consensus, right? So instead of complicating it further, each player you do an exile with. So uh, the thing you want to do with the deck is you want to do a little bit of flicking because uh, whenever you exile your own creatures, you probably want them back out. So either when Lagrella dies or gets flicked back onto the battlefield, your creature's gonna come back with two 1-1 one -one counters on it. Does that make sense, Lady C? Yes, it does. Okay, so with all that said, like I said, there's gonna be a little bit of that bounce factor, but we also got 1-1 one -one counters, so Ozolith's a great uh, great piece to the deck because you're gonna have 1-1 one -one counters. That's a big part of the deck, too. So when your creatures leave that have the 1-1 one -one counters, Boom, you get to put them back on one of your other creatures. So pretty pretty good deal right there. Shadow Spear, we've talked about this. It's a mainstay. Classic. Yeah, it just is Classic. what it is. Veil of Summer is pretty nice. Uh, when you're playing blue or black decks, you can get some hex proof. You get things not countered until end of turn, uh, and you get to draw a card. So it's a good uh it's a good spot to be in for playing blue and black decks it's kind of pointless against other decks but uh but it's a good one in this one uh for sure same with snakeskin veil you're trying to keep something on the board it's trying to get removed not only do you get a 1-1 one -one counter but it, it gets hex proof until end of turn so that's a pretty big deal witness protection is a great card uh you throw it out on an opponent's creature uh, they become something called a legitimate business person, which is a 1-1 one, one, uh, green-white citizen that does nothing. So uh, someone gets, let's say, Ulamog out there, right? You can make it a 1-1 one, one legitimate business person that does nothing. So it's <laughs> a legitimate business person. Yes. So it's a, it's a good card. Uh, wash away, obviously, you know, do all that. And uh, we're not going to... Uh, spend a ton of time on the deck tech because there is a link in the description I just want to point out some some high points that you really I feel need to be in the deck because some people are going to build it differently right um, some people run more land some people run less some people run uh, different cards altogether this is more of a general outline so that you can get uh, this kind of concept into your hands and then make it your own. That's what we always encourage people to do. So, uh, main thing would be like uh, ephemerate. If you get that out there, your your X Island, which is that flicker uh, flicker mechanic, you're gonna you know put it back onto the battlefield. Great thing to run with Lagrella there, and uh, then you get to rebound it, which means you get to pay it without paying its mana cost next turn, so you can double up on that again with uh, with Lagrella. And the creatures that you exile with are both going to come out with two 1-1 one, one counters. So that's a pretty powerful card to put in there. And it's only a one drop, you know? So Authority of the Consoles, it's a great card to have in any white deck. But uh, especially here, you can keep things in control and gain life. Uh, obviously, you're going to have your two 
two drop ramps in here. Uh, Ornithopter is a great, uh, great piece in this deck because you're going to be able to flick it, uh, or excuse me, exile it, and then flick Lagrella and make that actually a, a two four flyer instead of just a zero two. So double the value there with that one. Um, also, big fan of the Hallow Respite. Same thing where you, it's just a flicking spell. Basically, you want to get as many things that flick your things back onto the battlefield. Flick your things. <laughs> exactly. Um, especially things that have flashback or rebound. So make it your own, but that's definitely part of the uh, uh, the thing there. So another huge one is Broker's Ascendancy. So for a green, white, blue, you're going to, at the beginning of your end step, put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control and a loyalty counter on each planeswalker you control. So you can get it's huge. Yeah, you can get your uh, your board uh, stacked. Like your creatures will be massive because this whole concept is getting things with one one counters on them, right? Plus, you get a little bit of control aspect exiling the opponent's creature. But the main thing is you're trying to get your creatures one one counters on them uh, with effects like that. So same with the Pledge of Unity. Put a 1-1 counter on each creature you control. Uh, you gain life for each creature you control. So that's a pretty powerful card as well. Um, this one's really nice. It's a cheap 2-2 flyer. But if you have the City's Blessing, which means you have at least 10 or more permanents, uh, when it attacks, you put a 1-1 counter on it. So are you sensing the theme here of the counter, one, counters, one, counter, counters, one, one, counters, counters? Yeah. Then put Panharmonicon in there. And you double those things, so uh, that's that's what we're trying to get at, right? Same with the Cather's Crusade. When it enters, when a creature enters the battlefield, put one one counter on each creature you control. So let's just say you're running those flick spells, uh, you're putting uh, Lagrella right back onto the battlefield. But not only that, whatever she had exiled is going to enter the battlefield, one one counters on everything, and then she's going to come back. One one counters on everything, and then you get to exile whatever you want. Same with uh, <clears throat> Marite of the Frost. So it's a changeling, but it's going to be a copy of anything you want. The only thing you can't do is legendary creatures, because obviously the legend rule will apply with this one. But uh, it's going to come out with two additional 1-1 one -one counters. So if you have something like your Resplendent Griffin, you can make another one of those. It's going to come out as a... 4-4 uh, four, four right away and then once you have the city's blessing you're just going to be adding 1-1 one, one counters to your 4-4 four, four, right and something that is uh, oh yeah right here so spark double this one you can actually copy Lagrella because it won't have that legendary rule as it says at the bottom here uh, it is not legendary if that permanent is legendary so you're going to be able to have two of them and that gets pretty crazy because two Lagrellas, uh, you're coming out and exiling double the things, and you, you're hopefully you know bouncing those things back and forth. It's it's pretty outrageous. So uh, same with like Asteris Ocelite, uh, Ocelite, you're gonna come out one one counter up to two target creatures. I mean, Asteris Lieutenant, same same thing. You're it's the one one counters, right? Then we can double all that up with Vorinclex. Boom, easy, right? Double all of that. Pair that with Panharmonicon. You're talking about quadruple, and I mean, holy cow! How do you how do you deal with this stuff? You know, <laughs> same with Great Hinge. You're gonna get a one one counter on every single creature. It's it's insane. So, and then Akroma's Memorial is just a win con in itself. Uh, it's in quite a few of our decks, Lady C. But you know, is what it is. So, with all that said, we run. Um, we actually run, as far as lands go, we run 37. That's pretty common with our decks, but obviously some, as we said at the beginning, some run more, some run less. But I will say the, the main thing, make sure you have these two drop ramps. Make sure you have a couple of three drop ramps, uh, especially like Celestis, you get to get card draw value out of and key to the archive. It's an incredibly powerful card. You get to draft a card and add two mana of any color. So uh, that's the main thing. And I almost forgot 
Thassa Deep Dwelling is Thassa. You it, can't forget Thassa. hundred percent necessary in this deck. You want to talk about flicking? You get to do it for free every single turn. She's out there, and you can pay four and tap another target creature. And that's not just a once per turn. You can just pay that. So if you have eight mana, you can tap down two creatures. You might be swinging in for lethal at that point, right? So if you like what you're seeing, if you want to see the full deck that you can just copy paste into arena and uh, and party, uh, go ahead and hit that link below. And uh, if you're liking what you're seeing so far, uh, consider liking the video, uh, giving us a comment and maybe a subscribe. It helps us out a lot. But let's get into the actual games and let's see Lagrella dominate. Yes, now we're talking. Let's get it. All right, we got the first game going. Play Kenrith, the returned king. A good starting hand. Yeah, I like the starting hand. Yeah, you don't need a ton of ramp. Lagrella's only a three drop commander. Hello. Hello. Crack of foot blue. Yeah. So if we get a blue out, and we got, yeah, we got exactly what we need. Ephemerate will be a great card that we just drew there. Exactly what you need. Get that flicker effect. Yeah, we're doing exactly what we need to do so far. So let's go ahead and get Lagrella out. Oh! Exile that. Exile Destiny Spinner as well. Try to get it back out for some 1 1 counters. Okay. Yeah, let's shock that. Broker's Ascendancy. Incredible card. Boom, boom, boom. Could try to do... Well, not with that one, because I, I want it out there now. But we do have the Ephemerate, just in case. Gonna seal away, but guess what? Boom, boom. Bring it back. Take. Yeah, let's take that one. Now we got our perk. Oh, uh, yeah. We got our peep back. Nice. Four, five. Yeah, because that was gonna take away Lagrella because it was exile and a tapped creature, but since we got the ephemerate, we're good. Yeah, maybe a little Falco. See the top card of our library. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, they don't have enough, Do right? It, yeah. Four, yeah. Do it. Do it. We're good. Oh, to the Diz home. Yeah, we keep. I broke her ascendancy. That's that's incredible. Ooh, Clothis. a little Clothis. I love. This. Yeah, Clothis is amazing. I don't like games that we played against me, but I right. Like play that card. Yeah. Okay, that one's kind of uh problem. Getting pumped. Okay. I mean they got they got some board state too, but we do have Shadow Spear. We do have Shadow Spear, that's probably gonna go on to Falco. Yeah. It's your four. Think. Okay. Spear, Falco. Boom. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Okay. I mean, we're we're in pretty solid shape. I mean, Glothus can't really do a whole bunch to us because we don't have anything in the graveyard, and neither. Do they? So, I mean, we're pretty solid. I would assume maybe Kenrith is coming out. This one's a good one. We got that on top of our deck. Oh, Genesis Ultimatum. This oh, is shit. gonna get kind of bad, huh? Yeah. Ooh. Oh man. Well, huh? that could have been much worse. Yeah, that could have been much worse. Thought this was kind of a bummer. Yeah. 
We still got the six in the air that they can't do anything about, so. Give one one counters that pledge. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> that out there is for some chumps. There we go. Yeah. That's that's what I think the move is, you know? Boom. Full seven. Boom! Right to the Shmack. face. Gotta come up with something or he's dead next turn. Yep. All those counters. Alright, so now they got something in the graveyard to do damage to us, but that ain't a big deal. Oh! Still dead next yeah, turn. Yeah, we still got lethal in the air. Still have lethal in the air. Yeah, doing all the all the things. Okay. That would have been a very scary card if we didn't already have lethal. Yeah. Sanctum of All is an incredible shrine card. Oh, they do have a flyer, but we do have trample. Hmm. Already the consoles. Ooh, I don't like that. Hmm. What's what's popping up here soon? Oh, it's just a yeah, so we get a land. Huh. Okay. Actually, that helps us. Thank you. No. Yeah, we don't want the land. Oh, some of those were really good, though. Fossilus. Yeah. Hey, okay, that's dead. I mean, we could have, but it wouldn't have. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. Okay, so we don't win this turn. Well, but the flyer's a one power. Don't we get another 1-1 one, one counter? Oh, you know what we could do? Oh, look at here. Witness protection, baby. Put that right on the flyer. Oh! Remove the shield counter. Swing in for lethal. Got him. Play the Ozla just in case, you know. Hey! Oh! And that is how That's you do win. it. On to game two. All right, game two coming at you. Don't like the uh Ooh, playing against Giada. Yeah, Giada's gonna be Giada. It's gonna be a tough one right there. Uh yeah. That soul word out. Yeah. Um, I mean it's good, we just got a lot of tap lands, you know. Oh well. Okay. Our planes out. Ooh, maybe we should have done green. Yeah. Okay. Giada's already out. It's gonna be kind of rough, though. The blue. Why did you not get green? Oh. Shit. Yeah, you should have got. Well, you know what? This actually works out. Okay, there's a green. Okay. That worked out. Yeah. Look Whoops. You. Misplay. Uh, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna vanquish the horde. I want them to get a really big board, and then we're just gonna board wipe. That's that's the only way we can deal with this, you know. Ozilus great for them. Get a lot of one one counters. So even if we do wipe the board, that still kind of hurts, you know. Rivers rebukes a nice one to have in the background. Okay. Yeah, I was about to say rivers rebukes. This is gonna feel good to get rid of because holy cow. Exactly what they need. We got lands. See ya. Oh! That is how we spent our turn. Ocelith does get all the things. Yeah, they didn't. Mm -hmm. Comes Giada. However, we get to go Lagrella and get rid of Giada. 
You can do both of these, actually. Sarah's Ascendant. Umbrella. Probably gonna exile the Ascendant. Yeah. Wanna come back with some 1-1 one -one counters, baby. Let's go. So we're controlling it a little bit, you know? Having to. It's I mean, Giada. Yeah. <laughs> we're having to play defensive right now. Nothing we can do. Oh, are they gonna... Okay, gotcha. Play another land. Or replay the land that they had. That's a good little card. Okay. So Ozilus been doing work for them. Could Rivers Repute, but I think we'll go Ornithopter. We're gonna swing, hopefully they block. What's gonna happen? I don't know. I Come mean, on, guys. There we go. Boom. Right to the face. That's the thing is that, like, they don't necessarily have a choice. They kind of have to let it come through or else we get the Sarah's so send it back out with some one one counters. It's kind of the whole point. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. I just kind of feel like with Magpie, the best, if you're trying to get him killed, just hold back the pop. Well, I was thinking about it, but then, like... She's not a flyer, though. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, here we go. So... We could flick... Get rid of one of theirs. Yeah. Or we could do Akromas, or we could do Rivers Rebuke. I say Akroma. Now we got a little Vigilance. See, now we can swing and... Block. Block. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So I think that'll pay off. You know. Still got Rivers Rebuke. Be honest. Yeah, it's a powerful one. deck. I mean, this is this is one where I don't really know what's gonna happen. <laughs> like, we. We've thwarted the game plan so far for them, but that doesn't mean that they can't get right back up and rolling. Okay, so, clearly, we will block. Okay. Are you gonna swing or not? Oh my gosh, come on. Make up your mind. Uh, yeah. Okay, you're not gonna swing without. Okay, there that we go. It really didn't make any sense. You could have gotten three through. Yeah, I don't know. I don't get it. But whatever. We'll see. Boom. Sarah's ascended back out. Got him. I like it. And boom, 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 boom. Little rivers rebuke. See ya. Put it all back in there. Got him. Got him. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's bring that back. The one one counter. Yeah, that was a good swing there. A swing and a swing. Alright, so we're gonna get Giada back out. Let's see what else they're doing. Okay. Land lands, probably bringing out another angel, maybe. Oh, Ozolith. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I say magpie. Get rid of this 4 4. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go, little broker's ascendancy. Yeah, looky here. Uh. Swing it, a swing a game. We're just pumping the creatures. I love it. That Acroma's Memorial was a uh, was a good call. Did everything? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Well, <laughs> there went the Acromas. Oh, bye bye. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Pumping Giada. I, I mean, oh. Yeah, let's get some 1-1 one -one counters. 
Boom. Boom. Let's go. Ooh, that hurts your feelings. Uh. A bit. Oh. Keep pumping. I mean, Broke's ascendancy is still going. If we can get 30 life. Oh, no. Oh, my God. But we got that. So we can we can flick it. Okay. But it won't have all those one-one counters. Hmm. But we can get we can find a way to get to 30 life. Still gets its pump. Yeah, let's do it. Need it back. But show. Go. Uh ah. that one. Boom. Probably still can stop that. Well, no. Yeah. Just want to get a huge board state. We Lots of one-one one counters. We also have. Oh yes. Yep. We're using on that for show. Ooh, that's rough. Ouch. Yeah, that angelic guardian would have been. Oh my. Yeah, let's get that's a going. Why not? Go ahead and tap some stuff down. See ya. All encounters over here. Go for it. Hey! Ooh, let's go. <laughs> Just like that. We will, uh, even against Giada. Look, good, good. Lagrella good. don't play. Yeah. All right, game three. Good We're, starting hand. Yeah, I love the starting hand. Hello. Playing Zeathora, the incinerator. We have a video on that gal already out on the YouTube, so uh, shameless plug. Go check that one out. Call it the one-shot commander. All right, let's get going here. Do they give us a hello back? If they didn't, then Rude. we need to uh, make a pay for that. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Teach you some manners. All right. We're off and rolling. Let's get the thopter. Destiny spinner. Love the sludge monster in our hand. Gets rid of uh, gets rid of stuff like you put a little slime counter on stuff and it doesn't it loses all its abilities. Okay, like a little bit more ramp, but I'll go out there. Oh, yeah, get a little two bop in. Why not? Ding. Oh, we got Thassa coming up on the top deck. Oh. That's a pretty nice one. Okay. Here's where I start thinking Lagrella. Or we could go Sludge. Yeah, get rid of this. Boom. See, it becomes a 2-2. Two -two. Swing out. And that's... We get to do a, a slime counter every time it attacks, too. So not only on entry... So it loses all of its activated abilities. Yep. And just abilities in general. Same with Corvold here. You know, this is great. It's going to get all pumped, but it's... Oh, or we could just witness protection it. We could magpie it as well. Yeah, I think magpie. Yeah, good. let's just get it. Um, Sure. Oh. Yeah, go ahead and get rid of that. We do have witness protection. Maybe we can save that for Zia Tora, you know? Oh, it's wanting us to do so. I was like, wait, what is going on? Oh! Dang. Yeah, we're rolling. We got a little, uh, little flick card coming up from the top. Well, and that's what it has removal too, right? Uh, we can tap with Thassa. 
Okay, Sir Conrad. Okay. Might. Ooh, we got Sarah's ascendant. Yeah, we might do that to Conrad. Yeah. See ya. And sure, let's get Thassa. Why not? <laughs> you know what I mean? Boom, boom. Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna swing out. Oh. <laughs> oh man. Should have said gentlemen. hello. Should have said hello. You gotta make them pay for it sometimes. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, as you see, this is why I think this might be my new favorite commander. I mean It's it, definitely a good one. I, it, it can it can hang with any deck and not only hang, it thrives, you know, and it's uh it's just a fun concept. So big fan of it, big fan of Nuka Penna in general. But uh yeah, if you liked what you saw consider liking the video, uh, commenting, and subscribing. It really supports us and helps us bring uh, more awesome content all the way. Um, you want to catch us on other uh, things? Yeah, check out our uh, Twitch every Sunday and Wednesday at 6. We, uh, we basically destroy other people in the arena, as you have witnessed yeah. today. It's, also check out our discord yep. if you're into deck building uh that's where the magic happens you guys yep you definitely want to be in the discord for that uh lots of fun stuff a great community no matter what your experience level is you'll have a good time so uh but until next time i am strike our light herder and i am lady celestria together we are celestial, celestial strike. strike we'll see y'all next time Goodbye. peace